I know transportation um, in um, the greater Tampa Bay area is a huge issue. And so first, I am continue to be uh, appalled that the Governor Scott did not take the money for the high-speed rail. I mean, that would have created an opportunity to get off your car on I-4. And as a now new resident of Orlando, uh, I spend a lot of time sitting in the parking lot that is I-4. So having that stretch from Tampa to Orlando, I think we could have built on that Orlando to Miami, Orlando to Jacksonville, could have been the beginning of truly a mass transit opportunity, high-speed rail across the state of Florida. But here in, in Tampa, I know that there have been many different discussions, TBX and other issues of potentially uh, improving opportunities on the roads. But specifically, what we need to be doing, I think, is being more creative, streetcars, more bus lanes, more light rail if possible. Um, I'm concerned at this stage um, uh, what the Florida Department of Transportation is saying about the funding possibilities for these. But when I'm governor, my commitment is going to be to address the need for public transportation all across the state of Florida, inc including here in the Tampa Bay region. Because again, this is another example of where we can be doing our part regarding climate change and decreasing carbon emissions. Let's get people out of their cars. I mean, we're very, I'm a Floridian, very wedded to my car, I understand, but you've got to make the options, options that are convenient to people. And so whether we connect, you know, train options, light rail, street cars with bicycle paths or walking paths, but we've got to make it a, a system that people aren't going to be inconvenienced to use it. I did a, I spent a day um, with a business in South Tampa um, uh, called Computer Mentors, and I heard from from those people that I was working with that to get on a bus and head out of South Tampa, they're often committing two hours of their life for the day. That that's how much time we got to do better for people so that not only can you live here in Florida, all these issues we've talked about are life issues. They're quality of life issues. I want people in Florida to be able to live here, get a great paying job, not have to sit in their cars and parking lots on I-4 have an opportunity to use public transportation or mass transit, get around. Um, so not only just to live, but have an enjoyable life. That's what all these issues are about. Mm -hmm.